I don't know if you, Coach, actually fought after the last game, but whatever you guys did here, Brooks, it certainly worked out. You and Jordan on fire today as part of a 17 three-point make performance. It's a school record makes uh, of makes today. Did allow 18, but they had to shoot it 48 times from three. You guys 28, very efficient. Uh, did you did you feel it early on? You guys had it going. I mean, offensively, it was beautiful basketball to watch. I mean, for a, for a shooter, you know, after like the first couple going, you know, you start to get confidence and the ones you're just throwing up going in, and then yeah, it just starts rolling. What concerns you the most about them when you guys were uh, about to face them? Um, they take the most threes and they make the most threes in uh, conference. So we knew what we were going to get ourselves into. I guess we didn't. We underestimated them in the first like five minutes, you know. So. We were there on the closeouts, but we had our hands down and all that stuff, and they were just jacking, so we had to adjust to that. Yeah, I thought your guys' energy really pushed you through at the end of the first half, and then into the second half, they looked a little bit tired. They're obviously got a short bench, yeah. and uh, I thought your guys' energy really paid off. Yeah, the bench, the bench came up really, really good today. So I was very proud of them. I'm glad we got to get JG in and Otaz in. So uh, that was fun to see. Yeah, I was hoping to get Jordan a shot there down the stretch. Yeah, we tried. Like, yeah. yeah. He did knock one. He did get a look at it, but uh, maybe in the next outing here, you guys will go down and face them here in a few days as well. And we were remarking about the uh, assist too. It's a it's an amazing number, 29 on the 35 made baskets, and everybody got in the act. You know, you got a, a Jordan had six, which led the team, but five for Unruh. Uh, you know, a couple guys, I guess four guys with three, three other guys with two. I mean, just ridiculous numbers on the assist. Yeah, man. Um, you know, we we move well without the ball, so we we knew we knew there was like open spots in in the film, so. We took, uh, took great advantage of it. Yeah, certainly it'll be a tough road trip down there, though. Obviously, yeah. it's, a, it's a tough trip anyway, but this is a team that's dangerous, and if they had hit, you know, they could have easily hit four or five more threes. Could have right. been a much more interesting game down the stretch. Right. I mean, we just need to key on number three. Um, I don't know how many shot, maybe like 20 or something. He had 29 points off the bench, so, yeah, right. he, he was yeah. certainly doing so work. That's, that's what we need to focus on, and number 14 is even better, so he had an off game today, yeah. so we got to watch him, too. There's the other half of the uh, – Splash Brothers, Central Arkansas style today. Hey, good game, boy. Jordan Howard, who uh, should have quit shooting after eight, man. I thought you were going to end up with a perfect night. I really wanted Jim McNine. That would have been a school record. But, <laughs> but man, you had it going tonight. You made it look very easy. And uh, the way you guys shared the ball tonight got you guys a lot of open looks. Absolutely. We knew that they were going to come out in either a zone or, or man-to-man. -man, and if they came out in the zone, Coach just emphasized to move the ball. We have so many shooters, so many good scores. And Derek did a great job getting us out early. And then uh, – guys found me and we, and we just got a group going you guys uh, he, he told me before the game it was going to be an energy game and i thought you guys really brought the energy early on yeah. uh there were a couple of lulls but you finished so well in the first half and then you come right out in the second half hit your first four threes to start yeah. the second half so i thought you really put them on their heels from an energy standpoint yeah yeah they came out punched us in the mouth a little bit i, th I think we we're down by 10 or so yeah. but but we do a great job of, of collectively coming back and coming back strong and, and going on runs and and this year i think the difference has been maintaining those runs and maintaining leads and so even when they 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 fight back and hit a couple threes we were able to attack back we have so many weapons that that we can sustain those uh, thomas came in as the leading shot blocker in the league and they had 11 blocks as part of a win here last year he really had no impact on the defensive end today you guys were obviously not worried about taking it inside you had a few layups thatch had a couple of layups even when he was in there you guys were able to attack the glass yeah yeah we knew uh we knew that he's a good shot blocker, he's a good defender, and he got in a little foul trouble. And so we just wanted to keep attacking him. And, and, and if he picked up a couple more fouls, he would be a non-factor. So I thought we did a great job attacking no matter who's in there. You've done a great job protecting the home court in the last four four-game win streak, now seven wins in conference play. In your mind, what's been the biggest key as part of this run? I think just the collective team effort. Everybody, uh, starters through the bench, has, has been impacting the game, either if they've played or not. Everybody's had a huge impact and, and, and huge part in this, and, and that's what we've been preaching is teamwork and, and togetherness, and that's been a huge force, and I think that's going to take us far. You're a guy that also thinks the game very well. In your mind, what's the hardest thing about turning around and playing the same team back-to-back? -back? Just to not be complacent, to take this momentum and put it into that game. We know they'll probably make adjustments to what we did, and, and we'll make adjustments to what they did. They had a couple guys that shot the ball pretty well, and, and they shoot a lot of threes, and that was one of the game plans that we wanted to force them to do. And so... Just maintaining our, our composure and, and our competitiveness and our energy going into the same team. Yeah, you guys might want to send a defender with Rutledge right now and just have him stay with him the entire week all the way through <laughs> Thursday because he, uh, 29 off the bench, that was no joke. He was impressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he shot, I think he shot 20-something threes. And so 
We'll take that. Yeah, 22, honestly. 9 of 22. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I thought in the second half we did a better job of getting out to him and making it tough for him, and he's going to hit shots. He's a great shooter. So so I thought we did a good job of that, but nope. they took a lot of threes, and that's what we were trying to force them to do. By your stat line tonight, if you had taken 22 threes, you would have made about 17. So <laughs> that would have been really unfair. It's probably better you didn't do that. Hey, congratulations. I want to congratulate you again on the uh, academic honor that you got recently as well. So doing the job on the court and in the classroom. I mentioned it to the president. He was singing your praises earlier today. He came always at halftime. So congrats on everything. It's all headed the right direction and uh, need a couple road wins here. and We'll be heading to Katie soon. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm blessed. God is good. I have great teammates, uh, great family. So I'm just blessed to be here, honestly.